Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayers and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want you to know that this prophetic word is a prophetic word of power, is a prophetic word of deliverance, and this is a prophetic word of transformation. I say it again. This particular prophetic word is a word of prophetic word of power, is a prophetic word of deliverance, and this is a prophetic word of transformation hallelujah so get ready to hear what god is going to be saying and i believe that god always reveals something to bring out solution and most of the times we've got to be patient about what god wants to do with us you know one of the reasons why sometimes we don't get to receive our miracles and our blessings is because we are not patient in in every aspect like somebody can be watching a video because you really want to hear blah, 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 blah. you just try to fast forward it and all that now that is very good but impatience can make you lost a lot there might just be something that you needed to hear maybe from the beginning or towards the middle or towards the small or towards that you missed it out and maybe the word that you needed to hear was what you fast forwarded and you missed it out so patience is virtue. I always say that. Patience is very and extremely very important. Yes. I want to pray for somebody right now. I said this prophetic word is going to bring three things. And these are three different uh, categories of people that this is happening to you right now. Okay. I want to pray. The first person, I have three. There are three, actually. The first person, oh, this brings me to a reminder of, we had a prayer session, and then I said, I gave a prophecy. I said, somebody, you have you have a problem with your stomach and all that. And then I said, this has been a pain. And I said, go check your pants. It's out a few minutes from now. And then later on, while we were still alive, the lady sent me a message. She checked her pant. What was in her stomach came out. It came out in the form of, she said, thick blood. Look at what God did for her. Instant miracle. And then she said, she had that for years. She had that for years. People have prayed for her. She's been trying to get a solution to no avail. I believe that when the time comes for your healing and your deliverance and your transformation, God does it no matter the place, no matter the person, no matter where you are. Somebody right now, there is a growth in your stomach. Sometimes you feel this thing kicking. The Lord says, get ready. It is going to come out of you. Number one, God says, get ready. It will come out. When this particular growth is, is going to come out, when it comes out, everybody's going to be so shocked. People will be so amazed. What did you do? What happened? God did it for you. In the name of Jesus, if you're watching me right now, lay your hands on your stomach. I command that object out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. The second person, there is an identity that is living in the inside of you. There is an old person that is living in the inside of you. This is what you have noticed about your image. People see you and they love you at first sight. 
But afterward, their interest in you dies down. Somebody has taken your image. When they see you, they are not seeing you. They see another person. You will put your hands on your navel. Your navel stands for your foundation. Every stranger in the inside of me, all this I'm talking, please type it on the comment section and be receiving your deliverance. Every stranger inside of you, who is not meant to be inside of you apart from the spirit of God? Out in the mighty name of Jesus, put your hands on your belly button, your belly button, your navel. Palabadaba sukata. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Akosa para habia kasata. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Asa pene mata. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Shine makataya. In the name of Jesus. Hale kose. Ushana makada bayata ya balabasata. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ. God is setting you free. The Lord is delivering you. And after your deliverance, you will face heavy transformation. If you have been watching this up to this extent, Type it on the comment section and say, I am free. I am free in the name of Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. I am free. Type it on the comment section. You've been watching up to this accent. Please type it on the comment section. Say, thank you, Jesus. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. In the mighty name of Jesus. After this deliverance, you will see a great transformation in your life. People who dislike you will come. Your body is going to take shape. Everything is going to fall in place. It's a great transformation. It's a great transformation. It's a great transformation that has taken place. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if this has been of great blessings to you, I'll beg on you that you pray for me as the Spirit of God leads you to do that. Kindly pray for me. Thank you so much for your prayers. In the name of Jesus, amen. And please do not also forget to share this video. Let people receive deliverance, transformations. Let people receive miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Now, May the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you so much, I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. Shalom.